How's it going, y'all? Rowdy Riles back with another video. Today, I'm kind of excited about this one because I never thought we would be getting another Jason David Frank figure, but Valiverse announced when the Legend of the White Dragon uh, movie was finished, like after he'd passed, I believe. I don't. I think these were probably in the works before he passed away, but now that you know he's gone, obviously he's never going to see these. But today we have the Valiverse Legend of the White Dragon 2-pack. I don't know when the movie's coming out. Maybe they'll announce something at Comic-Con or how it's going to be released or any of that stuff. But I did want it because it's Jason David Frank, my favorite Power Ranger, and it's his own thing that he cared about and put a lot of his work into. And I was like, you know what, I want to get this figure, especially because they have another Jason David Frank head sculpt, an older version, like a current version of him, which we never got in the Lightning Collection. So I wanted to grab this, and I do have a couple of Action Force, and I was kind of impressed with those. And these look really cool. They look like they scale with the Lightning Collection. So with all that being said, let's take a closer look at the box, and we'll get these bad boys open. Taking a look at the front of the box, you can see all it says is Legend of the White Dragon and Valiverse. And then, of course, we've got the figures down there, and we've got the helmet from Legend of the White Dragon in the other corner. On this side, we've got some artwork of the White Dragon. On this side, artwork, I guess... He's Black Dragon? I don't know. Oh no, it says it right there on the back. He is Dragon Prime. So we've got White Dragon and Dragon Prime. And then you've got their Instagram and Facebook. It says Legend of the White Dragon. we got the top of the box and the bottom of the box. And with all that being said, let's get these bad boys open. Yeah, I ruined it. There was tape right next to there, but it's okay. I was going to throw it away anyway, right? But... There they are, out of the cardboard. Here is our Legend of the White Dragon, Dragon Prime, and White Dragon out of the box. As you can see, they do come with stands, which I'm using, because I don't want them to fall off this stupid spinny thing, because everything falls off of it. But they're, um, visually, uh, sculpt-wise, they're the same figure, but the paint is what differentiates them, and the other head sculpts, but, you know, they're, they're both painted nicely. We've got the gold and white and silver on the White Dragon, and then you've got the red and black and silver on Dragon Prime. And they both look really nice. They both are sculpted and articulated really well. Just know nothing about it because, of course, the movie's not out yet. And unfortunately, Jason David Frank passed away. So they had to do a bunch of reshoots and it didn't involve him. And I'm sure it made it more difficult to finish the movie. But supposedly it's done and it's just waiting to be released. So we'll see how that goes. But at least we have these figures if the movie never comes out. Checking out their height. They're both going to be the same height. So I'm only, only going to measure one of them. <coughs> God damn it. Sorry. Checking out their height, I'm only going to measure one of them because they are the same height. Our white dragon stands six and a quarter inches, maybe a little bit over that. Going over the articulation, once again, only going to go over white dragon because they're both the same. Back pretty far, forward also pretty far, to the side a little bit hindered there. Shoulders come up 90 degrees despite that uh, shield on there. We have a nice butterfly joint, nice bicep cut, smooth double elbows that work really well. We've got, of course, a hinged uh, wrist down there. Then we get a ball peg in the torso, as well as a ball peg down there at the waist. We do get uh, some turning at the waist. We get drop down hips, forward that far, to the side, back not as far. We get a thigh cut, double knees. He can kick his own butt very easily. Coming down, there is a boot cut, and then we get rockers down at the feet. So they articulate like a Valiverse, like a G.I. Joe, like a Power Rangers Lightning Collection. So what you would expect. They work pretty well. Going over their accessories, first of all, they both come with an unmasked head sculpt. One is, of course, Jason David Frank, and then the other guy is the guy that runs Bat in the Sun. There's some controversy about him, so I'm not even going to bother looking up his name, but he helped Jason David Frank make the movie, and he's the main bad guy in the movie. He's like a stunt guy, and does a lot, did a lot of the fights for like Bat in the Sun. Like I don't know if you've ever seen their superhero beatdown or whatever, but they used to do a lot of that. And that's how he met Jason David Frank, and I guess that's how they started collaborating and working on this movie. But um, we get an, I really do like this Jason David Frank head sculpt. It looks really good. Looks a lot like him. So they did a really great job with that. So that is the first accessory that we get. But we also get, for both of them, we get a stand and some clear plastic. For the White Dragon, it is blue. And for the Dragon Prime, it is red, for obvious reasons. Blue is good, red is bad, at least in our black and white world. And then, of course, we get their helmets as well, which are both the same, identical, but they are nicely sculpted and painted. And then we get an alternative bracer, because as you can see, they have these laser swords on their wrists, but you can take those off if you want. So we get an alternate cuff for both of them. And then we get a bunch of hands for both of them as well. We get some karate chopping hands and some open posing hands for both, a set for both. And then, of course, they both come with two sets of fists. So packed with accessories, cool figures, 
Let's check out how they stack up with others. Actually, I wanted to check this out first, and this is really cool. The Valiver's head fits 100% perfectly on the Lightning Collection. So there you have an older Tommy Oliver morphed as the Green Ranger, and this is my remastered Green Ranger with the diamond underneath and all that stuff. But yeah, that's really cool. Makes that worth the pack alone just for that head, in my opinion. I mean, it's expensive. It's like 65 bucks. So maybe not, but just about. Just for getting the one Jason David Frank figure. First up, for comparison, here they are with some Lightning Collection. Of course, we've got the White Dragon next to the Green Ranger because they're both Jason David Frank. And then we got Dragon Prime next to Cammy because she was the closest female Lightning Collection figure that I had. And then here they are with some Valiverse Action Force. Here they are with some Jaded Toy Street Fighter. Here they are with some Ninja Turtles and SH Figuart, some Earthworm Jim and Street Sharks, and then lastly, some Epic Hacks and Cosmic Legion with our Legend of the White Dragon 2 pack. And really, I only got it for Jason David Frank, so. So with all that being said, y'all, I will say that for me, the Legend of the White Dragon 2 pack was worth it because I got this new Jason David Frank figure. I am excited to see the movie if it ever comes out. So there's that. But yeah, it's a cool figure. Uh, Valiverse did a good job with this two pack. It is, you know, exactly the same figure other than the head sculpt and the colors, but that's how the movie is as well. So it's no problem to me. It just sucks. It was $65 to get one figure that I wanted, but at least I get a bad guy for him to fight in, fig in, in uh, pictures and stand next to on the shelf and all that stuff. So yeah, still worth it. I'm glad I got him. If you guys glad you, if y'all are glad you like this video, I'm going to chop and edit this and all that stuff. If y'all are glad that you watched this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. And of course, comment. Let me know if you're picking up this pack, if you want to see the movie, if you're a Power Rangers fan, if you're excited to see some new stuff that from my channel like this. Uh, how your day is going? Let me know in the comments. Of course, check out the Patreon for videos like this one early, dollar a month. Do all that stuff. I love you. I'll see you next time and bye-bye.